Ian Dior. I ain't gonna lie. I was a fan of his music back in high school. It's been mad long. I almost forgot about his existence for real. And it's just crazy because Loki, this was bound to happen. This genius video of him explaining his lyrics, yo. I flew my ex out to LA to just see what would happen. She got mad, wandered off in the club. So now I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck? I ended up buying her a plane ticket that same night and she was gone the next morning. Bro, talking about some she wandered off in the club and he still bought her a plane ticket home. You lost, buddy. Okay, you lost. Nigga like me would have been like, I say toss her groupy ass out the window and let that whole star gaze from outside. Astrology? I mean, yeah, I usually do trust it because if you look up your birth sign, like, you're, you're going to see if you. Dog, you can't be dead ass. <laughs> Astrology is for the woman. As a man, I don't know why you, you believing in that bullshit, man. A any woman that stumbled across this video, you know what I mean? Listen, listen you, you allow to believe whatever you want, okay? You know, I'm really a Gemini. This is just how I choose to express myself. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, pe people was also accusing dude of being an industry player or something. I, I, don't, I don't really give a fuck about none of that. All I'm going to say is o only a white man could have came up with some cornball script like this for a music video. Right Sit down. This is big. Really big. Look around. Notice anything? No one cares about fashion and names what anymore. What is he talking about? Bro? Ian Dior, oh, Gucci Mane. That's all out. I know what's in industry plant. I like that. New name. Now go out there and make me some money. Oh, so he dropped a whole album with that being the title. Outside of that, I thought the album was fire. You know what I'm saying? He had some bangers on it. Problems was fire. Searching. Oh, and yourself with poor Stacey. Now nah, that song go crazy on bro. That project did around like 11k first week, which isn't bad considering this was his first project. But he had hella industry support. Like he had Nick Mirror producing a lot of his songs. And if y'all don't know, Nick Mirror was Juice World's main producer, and he also got a fucking shout out from Faze Banks. And you know what I'm saying? That that had to have did something because the nigga just. You know what I mean? I, who actually like like outside of like maybe like the two people on SoundCloud that that, that may have heard it? Like who who was saying I I, I listened to Ian Dior before they blew up, bro? Like nobody. Let's let's keep it real, bro. Let's keep it a hundred. He mo most of y'all niggas heard him from the fucking radio, bro. I don't want to hear shit. I. I'm gone. This was the last project I heard from dude. That dropped in 2020 where everybody was stuck in the house. Runaway Kid was I. Right. That song with MGK, Sick and Tired was hard. It ended up selling 14K first week. The song that was no emo rap shit though, Prospect. That song with Lil Baby, song mid as hell. They even shot a music video and the nigga was nowhere to be seen. Like he had an interview with Cuffboy saying he got a song with Uzi. My next single's coming out. It's featuring Uzi, so you guys could be excited for that. Oh my God. Um, you know what I'm saying? The song ended up being on this album, On the Better Things. Man, I listened to that whole one time and knew I never wanted to hear that shit again. Like, bro, that shit was too mid. Like, you had a song with Uzi. How you end up not making a five song with an Uzi feature? You know what I'm saying? And he got pushed like that. I left, never let no nigga push me like that. You know what I mean? Out the way for no music video. You know what I'm saying? And, and that shit... This 17k apparently this is a wikipedia search so take that with a grain of salt you know what i'm saying i could barely find the first week sales of any of his albums except through wikipedia and fucking reddit which some could say is kind of strange because almost every rapper first week sales get posted for the most part even fucking smoke perp with that 5k for fucking florida jet you know what i'm saying so why the fuck is his shit not getting posted man why but looking back though, Ian was just some cookie cutter ass rapper. Like he wasn't trash. You know what I'm saying? The emo rap shit he was doing compared to other artists that was doing that. X, Juice World, Lil Peep. Like you can't put E and Dior in the same conversation. You feel me? Like that's just not gonna fly. Hold up, nah. I just checked his YouTube, bro. He dropped an album damn near two weeks ago at the time of recording this, bro. That shit went completely under the radar, which is crazy because he still signed. So you think there would be some sort of like promotion or a sum? Like only one song out this album got a music video, and it's sitting at a hundred k right now. God damn, this fall off is insane. Like. I think the problem with Ian's career is that he was just dropping hit songs during COVID and a lot of niggas wasn't dropping nothing and they wasn't allowing artists to perform at no venues because of the fucking COVID restrictions and whatnot. But I think that song Mood that he did with 24K Golden also dropped that time too. 
So yeah, once Niggas was able to leave the crib, now people was able to go see their favorite artists perform, and there's just a lot of rappers doing their thing right now. And the market don't really look like they all that interested in Ian Dior. But with that being said, do I think he can make a comeback? Just nah, <laughs> nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like he was cool for a little minute, but right now. Like, nah, because why would a nigga want to listen to Ian Dior when they could just put on some Cardi, you know what I'm saying? Jump up the house, jump up the house, jump up the house, jump up the house. You know what I mean? You feel me? But yeah, nah, nah on Ian Dior. But I don't know. Let me know what y'all think, though. Y'all think he can make a comeback? Make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe. I'm out this bitch.